Welcome back to Trey and Wayne's Emerge, Cities of the Apocalypse. For me, this will just be one continuous recording, although I think my family will be back soon. It's been about two hours. Um, but for you, it'll be another episode, so welcome back. Everything can be bought. A warlord from the Waste is running a small community underground. He has offered to clean up and restore the entire underground network once we secure the area. For a price. Secure area with 30,000 credits. That sounds ludicrously easy. Let's go. Yeah, it's three points. I don't know. I mean, the mission does sound pretty easy, so I don't, probably don't need to bring out the big guns. Like, the crystal, crystal I consider big guns. You know, it basically gives me, it's basically saying, start the game with, uh, you know, with the second party member slot. It's almost. I mean, I still have to pay the credit amount, but still. I want more points. <laughs> let me, let me use lots of them. Let me use everything. Let me make it as easy as I want. And, and, you know, penalize me and score or something. Now, see, if I was the populist, I could win this, let's say I win this map in like 25 turns. Okay. Now, if, as a wastelander, I might win the map in 40 to 60 turns. And I could probably use this. If, if I did use it... Okay, hold on. Let's say it didn't even cost me any AP. And it took me 60 turns to capture this map in, uh, for 40 sectors. And then I could use this a total of 12 times. But, because I'm constantly spending 5 AP... Alright? Because I'm spending 60 AP out of that pool. Okay? I will end up taking like maybe, I don't know, 70 turns to complete? Let me think here. Uh, what did it? Basically, it's gonna, it's, a, it's an average of losing 1 AP a turn. So instead of having 600 AP, alright, I'm gonna have, what is it, 50, uh, what was I, 60 turns? 60 times 9, I'm gonna have 540 AP. Instead of 600 AP, so I'm basically losing 1 AP per turn. I don't know why I did it that way. I could have just said 1 AP per turn, so 60 turns. But anyways, I... You'd be costing yourself 60 AP. You'd be, you'd be doing nothing for 6 turns, essentially. Not, that's not really what it means, but... I'm trying to explain why I still want to select the populist over this. Even though I've been doing a lot of populist runs, I want a break from all that fighting, so I'm going to select the populist. Okay, so yeah, you do not get big guns for this. The plus five infrastructure per pool member is pretty huge. I don't actually know if Alan's psychedelic breakfast is supposed to be some sort of reference to something or what. I don't. I don't. I've never heard that term before. Maybe it's just something supposed to be funny. But because I don't, I, unfortunately, I kind of don't have a sense of humor. Um, I guess that's kind of funny in itself. Like I hear my family coming home now. Well, this would be a great start right here, so I'll just pop over here. No ally, I was really hoping to get one. Not that I have that ability unlocked this time though. And I can't build anything. Can't build any defenses.
That's a good start. 15 XP. Even though I have enough money to build more. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. Should I build it? Mm, I'm going to replace it later. Let's go ahead and put a workshop on this one. Okay, that's a pretty huge jump. All right, um, they're about to come in, so I'm gonna stop the recording, uh, and I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm gonna plus I probably need to restart and merge anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the game and uh, be right back. All right, welcome back. Um, it's now about two thirty. Uh, I think when we last left off, it's probably about twelve thirty. So it's a good thing I quit out. We had to take care of some ants, bring out the groceries, all that jazz. Um, kids are now taking a nap, so I can continue back with what I was doing, which it looks like I was just setting up. Secure the error at 30,000 credit. Okay. This looks like an interesting building, and so does that. So I probably want to more go this way, because this looks more interesting than that. Oh yeah, again a huge infrastructure jump last turn, that's right. Alright, so I'll probably make you sniper or you big guns. Even though the AI sucks at big guns, I don't know. We can we can really explore the difference between, between the player big guns and the AI big guns. I guess that'll be something we can do. Or I could just make them both snipers at this point. Well, don't have any crystals left to worry about now.
should be able to drop items. Why? Because what if I wanted to switch out to a different weapon now? Like, say, shotgun. I know normally you would have a shot, but in this case, there is no shot panel. So, that's something to consider. Like I forgot how to fight. Um, since I was using a big gun earlier, it's, it's gonna obviously gonna be a completely different style. These guns are, in case you don't know, these are level 1 guns which cost nothing to build or, or sell, so I can just drop them here. So this should get me 2 points of infrastructure. Yep, I'm, uh, I'm now up to 17. Twenty-three turns, jeez. Hmm. 
I'm gonna have to see. I'm, I'm gonna have to go back and see if I get <clears throat> infrastructure for finding that unex or exploring that unexplored sector. I doubt. I doubt. I doubt I get any points for that. It's been a long time. I completely forgot about getting broadcast stations. Putting in custom music was a lot of work for editing, but I, I really, I really like the effect it had um, when I look over the videos that I made. I just don't know if it would be considered worth it. I dealt with some weird 95% frozen processing issues. Additionally, took a lot of time to find songs I thought would kind of work. So like in, I think during one series, or one, one portion of it, I knew that a character was about to die, so I started making it more more serious sounding, and then when the character died, the music and the cityscape and battles kind of a little more, I guess, somber, I think, if I remember right. And then like when my team was doing really well, it was more techno-ish. So there was that deliberate, I guess, thematic change. Ah, I thought they attacked. Did they respawn already or what? Oh, and I tried moving the USB port of my remote mouse that still plugs in the computer from the back of the computer to the front. I haven't noticed as many. In fact, I'm not sure I've seen any skippings that it used to do. So it may just be like a range thing. That may have been the problem, but I don't know. It seemed inconsistent. It's not like I was moving the mouse further away and then something it's not working. I'm sure you didn't get this close when I was using big guns in the beginning. I'm not saying they never get close, I'm saying in the beginning, these zombies never got high close. Ah, booey. Of course, I'm still having trouble making it move, make very fine tuned adjustments. I don't like that. I don't think the previous mouse did that. Like if I move it just a little bit down, maybe it's a half a centimeter, it does not register anything. It makes it a huge problem when editing, and I, it needs to be like pixel perfect. Because I'm, you know, it's 30 frames, 60 frames a second.
Oops, I want that one. I feel like my turns are going so fast that I'm missing something, that's why I kind of hesitate there. I really wanted to spend the money because I do need 30,000 credits. Possible strategy is to start paying money to recruit people, <laughs> so um, so I can get plus five infrastructure per turn. Maybe I'd try it if it didn't cost me so much. Because I do, I, again, I still need to save money, enough money to win. Not just reach 40, but I actually need to harvest enough money.
I might run into someone who can use energy weapons. Doubtful, but it's only a few extra bucks. right now. In 10 turns, it may very well be that I won't. It'll probably cost me more money. Like, I'll probably have enough infrastructure in, let's say, I don't know, 13, 14 turns. So I only have four turns to enjoy the master trading post. It's probably not a good idea to do that. Let's do Freelancer's Guild then. Just organizing them. I don't really need to switch back to Rosia unless I'm about to fight, so... Oh, if I was exploring, I got EXP. Oh, come on. If I was exploring, get EXP. I probably would want it to go to the other character. Thank you. 
Okay, so they fled. Yeah, so it looks like very few people right there. This will be a pretty fast mission, it looks like. Aww. I mean, it's just five of them, but still, I was hoping to minimize how many times I actually had to be engaged in battle. Still, this will be pretty simple. Oh, that ground looks like crap. Yeah. <laughs> 
Shouldn't really matter at this point. But whatever. I don't know, I don't... It shouldn't really matter, but maybe there'll be like a super stage at the end or something. I really, really, really doubt that, though. Alright, so I have my 30,000 credits. Turn 33, 40 sectors. I'm good, right? That's four digits worth of zeros right there. Four digits worth of zeros. Um, yeah. I just feel, I always feel a little uncomfortable with this section. This, sec with this part of the game. It was that simple. 33 turns, 5 fights. A well-staged set of coincidences? I don't think so. I don't like that the OK buttons... Like if, I, if I accidentally double-click or something, I, I lose my item. So, not too fond of that layout right there. Okay, let me restart the feed and let me see how my family is doing as well. Thank you very much for watching Trend Winds Emerge, Cities of the Apocalypse. I'll see you next time.